And we are actually live. Wow. Here we are on the day of our Nancy in the... Here the, we are. Um, the day of our Nancy? <laughs> I was thinking about the phrase in the year of our Lord and <laughs> tried to convert it without thinking that through very well. <laughs> It's Nancy's year. We're just living in it. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Emily is here and says it's Drew's day. Lily is here. Emma is here and says Nancy's day. Nancy's, Nancy's day. Nancy's day. Man day. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I've tweeted. Lily says, the day of our Nance. Emma says, boy, that really Nance is my day. Hmm. 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 Ugh. Wow. Boy, that really drew my Nancy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Oh, wow. I um opened this package, which I'm sure you can I, hear yeah, the whole noises of. Yeah, I can of. hear that package. Um, and I am struck with a smell. Oh. I mean, me too, a little bit. Oh, that smells worse than anticipated, mm -hmm. I gotta say. Juliet uh, says Nancy's Inferno. Mm, Francis says, Joey, that's what I was going to say. Presumably about, boy, that really drew my Nancy. Uh, um, how is everyone today? Yeah. How? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, I just, wait, keep talking for a second. Is the sound funky? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, keep just just talk like recite some fucking poetry or something. Was briling in this slidey tove, did gyre and jim beer in the waves. Okay, All minzy were the bora groves and the momoraths outgrabe. It's pronounced gyre and gimbal. Um, fuck you very much. This is And it's all... bora groves, not bora groves. A common misunderstanding. Uh, again, fuck you. This is all <laughs> Um, this is, what I am activating here is my little seventh grade brain memorizing that out of my, like, language arts textbook instead okay. of, you know, following along in class. Aww, so yeah. this is like, okay, kudos then. Um, <sighs> gold star for effort. Yeah. It, you know, it is like syllabic representation. Repetition without meaning, you know? Yeah. We had a, like, annotated um, Alice in Wonderland that had all these notes on, like, what each of those words, like, was supposed to mean. And, yeah, all of that. So, which I studied in great detail. Wait, also, isn't it gyre, like, like the widening gyre? I don't know what the widening gyre is. Um, I've never it's a, heard that word. It's from a famous. It's from that that Yeats poem. Um, is it? Wait, isn't it Yeats? Is it Keats and Yeats or Yeats and Kates? It's Keats and Yeats. <laughs> Yeats and Kates and Yeats and Kates and Yeats and Kates and Yeats and Kates. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is. I'm assuming it's gyre, the same word as in like um, like a spiral. Oh yeah, turning and turning. Which is pronounced gyre. gyre. How do you know it's pronounced gyre? Because I know that word, and also because I'm looking at the uh, IPA <laughs> of it right now. Fuck. Um, <laughs> okay, but then is is it gyre and gimbal, or is gimbal? pronounce jimble because that does not make sense well 
what, why, it looks like Gimple to me. Why are you thinking that they would be pronounced the same? Because it's poetry and alliteration, like, is a thing. Yeah, but also Gyre and Gimple sounds good as well. It sounds like Juliet a, like says a weird, like a Magnus Archives law firm. It extremely does. Juliet says Joey got it right, a la gyroscopes. But um, oh, I'm assuming Joey got it right is about Yates and Keats, not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Francis says, boy, that really scopes my gyre. Hmm. <laughs> Emma says, Joey, I truly hate the idea of annotating that poem with meanings. Yes, and Juliet clarifies Yates and Keats. And okay, Kates and Yates and Yates and Keats thing. and Yates. Yates and Keats and Kates and Yeats. Oh, the Borogoves are mimsy because the slithy toves are like drilling into the hole that they live, the hill that they live in, and like. Oh no, I don't want. Homes. I'm sorry. I <laughs> maybe it was not clear. I'm perfectly fine with it being nonsense syllables. I did do. I just typed into Google Borogoves to look at this part of the poem, and the first thing it returned was Borogoves, part of speech. Hmm. I can't believe you're out here with, like, the prequel Jabberwocky lore, like, actually, canonically. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Did you expect anything less of me? <laughs> no, I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Whoa, Juliet says, I think gyre might literally be pronounced gyray. And so whatever we decide to do with the English is kind of hand wave. Okay. Well, either way, I like to say it, and I've had that poem memorized for a long time, and I recite it when I need something to recite. Um, this is interesting, because I think I have the whole poem memorized. This would be like a horrible sound experiment, but <laughs> I am curious about the other ways that, because my memorization is not perfect. It's from my letter swapping seventh grade, yeah. didn't read it aloud, just like repeated it to myself ass. So I'm sure that we would have other points of variation. Oh, yeah, this lovely toast to Jared Temple, who is a miserable world of mum raps. Great. Uh huh. The jube jube bird. Oh, that, okay, we don't need to. We don't need to spend more time on this. Um. Wait, Tim says this has to have been a Caitlin tweet, in reply to the quote tweet of the original Drew's Day tweet today. But does Tim mean the quote tweet or the original tweet or both? Uh, that's a great question. Did I, I did in fact retweet the same. I did quote tweet the correct tweet. Yes, you did. Um, I mean, they're both obviously Caitlin tweets. So either way, he's <laughs> correct. Uh huh. I was, con I was intentionally continuing a theme today from last week. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I have to tweet back at Tim. Wow, this is a fucking thrilling episode so far. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Tim... No, Tim replied to today's tweet, Joey. Yes. Which is a quote tweet of your tweet from 10 hours yes. ago. Yes. That, that's literally what I said, but I don't know if he means the quote tweet or the morning tweet or oh he both. means the quote i i okay. think he means the quote I, tweet. I mean that's what i am assuming but I... I thought you were saying from week to week because oh, occasionally no, 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 okay no. can we do name that crunch because i really want to yes. try my okay. stinky bag yes try your stinky bag and i will attempt to name that crunch okay i have purchased a branded horror um at the grocery store that Emma asked that I sh did not buy, but I purchased it for the purposes of naming that crunch. We make sure my noise suppression is off. Okay, are you ready to name that crunch? No, but go ahead anyway. Oh! Did you do it? I didn't hear anything. Uh-huh. 
heard okay. nothing. Um, hmm. My, oh, my nose expression was on. <laughs> okay. I, that one's on me. I, okay. Well, neutral palette. We'll give it to you again. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, oh, it sounds very light and crispy, thin, crispy. Hmm. This uh, is no. I, sorry, I'm um. You're just I, commenting I'm on trying... the flavor experience. I'm trying to wrap my brain around it. It's compelling, but um, maybe darkly. Is this? Is this? just weird flavor wise or is it weird composition wise like it's is this just like a fucking lays potato chip but a weird flavor it is a weird flavor but that flavor is a weird flavor in addition to a weird composition thing okay yeah is it a seaweed chip with a weird flavor? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Is it... I do not like seaweed enough to eat seaweed chips. Okay, missing out. Um, I'll have it, hi, Tim. like, in furokake, but that's about the extent of it. Yeah. And, like, around sushi? Yeah, that's fine. Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah? Different... Different flavors ha happening. Francis says, I also love seaweed. I see weed, I eat it. Ayo! <laughs> Emily <laughs> says, hi, Tim. My friend once ate seaweed chips in a movie theater right next to me, and it was the worst thing in the world. <laughs> um, what are you eating? I think the question is not what am I eating, but why the fuck am I eating it? Why the fuck are you eating that mystery thing? I don't know. It's it's kind of bad. You have no guesses about the underlying, about the genre of thing it is? It sounds like a very thin chip. It's a little squeaky under the tooth. Oh. Mm, is there rice involved? There is not. Is it meaningfully alchemized? Oh, the component, the vehicle, the vessel is not. The component and flavor are. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to Tim make asks of that. if it's leaves. No, Tim, I have not eaten a non-edible thing for a bit in at least a calendar year. So the vessel, whatever you mean mm -hmm. by that, you're saying yeah. is literally just like a slice of something. No, I just said it hadn't been meaningfully alchemized. Okay, but that's what that means in in our world. <sighs> The way we have used that term. Yes and no. You're not being very helpful here. <laughs> it is, it is a, the component is the, sorry, not the component. The vehicle slash vessel is one ingredient. Okay, but not a slice. Correct. Um, it, mm. Juliet says, I've never had a pork rind, but what do they sound like? Extraordinarily crunchy. You would hear it from, like, a state away. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna guess this. Okay. Um, is it a carb? <laughs> um... I don't think so. Okay, is it like a fruit slash vegetable? No, does that, well, yeah, wait, no, it is. Yeah, yes. 
<laughs> yes, it okay. is. Okay. Is it... Ruby says, I see the alchemists are battling over their fine art. <laughs> is it... Fuck. Um... Uh... Mm. Is it made of avocado? No! <laughs> is it... Um... The vehicle slash... Oh, why? Oh, this is... um. The snack is brought to you by the Ryan Seacrest Foundation, apparently. Okay. That should help. Uh-huh. Juliet says kale chip. Ruby says plantain chip. It yeah. is a single vegetable. A good thought. What were you going to say? It is a single Maybe it vegetable. has been alchemized just by its single ingredient. Because oh, Emily says, is it Ryan Seacrest? Yes. <laughs> There's like a, a very obvious genre of snack. Is there? It's a single ingredient vegetable whose shape has been changed by application of heat. Is it puffed something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How am I, I, I don't know what gets puffed. You do. Corn. You do know. It's corn. It's yes. popcorn. It's popcorn. It's popcorn that is a weird flavor. Is it Oreo And has popcorn? weird bits on it. No, that would be better. Is it Butterfinger popcorn? You are thinking of, I, I will, I'll give you a, a cool and a hot here. You are correct in that it is a popcorn candy crossover. You are very incorrect that it does not involve chocolate. Oh, it does not involve chocolate? Is it some fruity candy? I guess technically you could describe it as fruity. Is it licorice popcorn? <laughs> no. Um, it, uh, it... I don't understand. I it's don't a candy any candy I like. Yeah, I can tell. Um, Emily's a Starburst popcorn. Sour Patch. Yes, it is Sour Patch Kids popcorn. So it is popcorn Jesus. that has like the sour dust on it, and also little fucking chewy chopped up bits of kid. It's not good. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, in response to you asking if it was fruity, Juliet says gay popcorn. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone, it is kind of bad. I am still eating it. Huh. Maybe you should stop um, and listen to this crunch. Oh! Okay, are you ready for this? Yeah. That was a crunch. Yep. Mm. That sounds like a deep and resonant crunch. Yeah. I'm guessing it's a potato chip. Yes, but not the kind you think it is. Is it a sweet potato chip? No. It's not. Is it an evil potato chip? Uh, sorry, a what? An evil potato, the opposite of a sweet potato? <laughs> um, is evil the opposite of sweet? No, I just wanted to say an evil potato. Okay. Um, it is different. 
in... Oh, wait, shit. Are you eating Sour Patch Potato? <laughs> no. It is different in um, construction and not ingredients, primarily. Oh, okay. Hmm. They tried to alchemize oh, is it a potato, potato skin? more than they usually do. Okay, that doesn't sound like a potato skin. No, it is not a potato skin. Uh, what is I it a, say... like a potato puff? No, it sounds, it's way too, the nature of that crunch does not align no. with puffiness. Um, what I will say about this snack is that I actually love the texture. The flavor is all right, better in combination with certain things, and the branding is atrocious. Hmm, okay. In a really pretentious way. Oh, are they... Pretentious is in, like, here's a potato chip that isn't a potato chip? I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> like, oh, it's not... Um, like, is it pretentious in a health food sense, or is it pretentious in a culinary sense? In a culinary sense. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It's it sounds like a potato chip. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of how you can more meaningfully alchemize a potato chip. Is it because I feel like you need some of the structure of the potato to get that kind of deep crunch, like. If you take the potato and like mix it with other things to form like a composite, I feel like you lose some of that crunch, you know? Uh huh. I will say, mm -hmm. I'm rethinking this now. Um, it says lattice cut potato chips on the container. But I was assuming, based on the experience of this, that it was like, essentially, they mashed potatoes and then made discs of them. And then gave them a texture and then fried them. Oh, but I see. Maybe they just cut thicker slices. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it okay. definitely has a lattice a... cut makes sense. Yeah, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't, I don't know. Like, it's thicker, and it has a a heartier but, like, softer crunch than, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. Like, I mean, it sounds like, it, it sounds not like a meteor. to get my teeth through. Mm-hmm. But it has, like, a meteor more resonant, bassy yeah. crunch than, like, a, um, a run-of-the-mill yeah. potato chip. It's got like, that, seems that kettle chip sound. Flaky. Mm -hmm. Like, really, mm. yeah, I don't know. And let me guess, it's a, it, is it a barbecue flavor? No. Uh, is it? It's too lowbrow. Oh, is it truffle? No. That's probably too highbrow, but only barely. Maybe. Is it like fucking like pink so pink salt or some shit? <laughs> no. Although there is a color in the name. Black garlic. No. Mm. Nat says a Pringles is an alchemized potato chip. Yeah, honestly, think Pringles texture, but but like thicker and hmm. also like lattice printed. Is, that... is it like a black, is it like a salt and black pepper thing? Is that where the no. color comes from? More colorful than that. Hmm. <laughs> is it a cheese flavor? Yes. Okay. Is it a white cheddar? No. Is it a red cheddar? <laughs> Again? No. <laughs> uh, but it is a cheese. Yes. 
Is it a blue cheese? Yes. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to read you everything that's on this container. So first of all, it comes in a cylinder, like a brown paper, like cardboard cylinder with like metal, you know, ends, like a little inset metal cap. Mm -hmm. Like a cylinder that it takes like both my hands to get all the way around. The cylinder... <laughs> The cylinder takes both your hands lovingly, <laughs> tenderly. <laughs> okay. They are called wine chips. The only chip designed oh. exclusively for wine. Always fresh. Okay. Small batch, bold flavor. You're right. That is fucking pretentious. Yeah. It says... Oh, fuck. These look good as fuck, though. <gasps> they are Oh, my good. God. It says... Um, we made wine chips because we love wine and we love cheese. Who doesn't? But realized that putting the cheese in the wine was a bad idea for both. So one evening in 2017, over a glass of wine, okay, maybe two, we wished for something simple, portable, dippable, endlessly snackable, cheese-laden, and although it says cheese-laden, which is, you don't need the extra ED there, cheese-laden and delicious. And just like that, okay, it took a lot of work, a lot of samples, a lot of wine, and the dedication of more than a few amateur enophiles. Is that how you pronounce that? Exuberant potato chip connoisseurs and mildly lazy party guests, the wine chip was born. It says, um, as the I only handcrafted snack flavor optimized for wine, they pair perfectly with a dinner party, picnic, tailgater, birthday celebration, or quiet night at home. You're welcome. These do... Yeah, Ian, a file. It, it does... These do look like they taste great. Um, I'm on the Wine Chips website right now. You're supposed to buy refill bags in foil to put back... To stack back into your cardboard tube. Uh -huh. Is what it looks like. Ugh, they're... The, they sell like gift boxes and the one where you get all the flavors is called the estate collection which I fucking oh hate God. Yeah, insufferable I mean these sound great but bleh at what cost yeah well I'm surprised you didn't get the howda like one they were I guess on it's, a, it's a smoked howda and you don't like smoked howda right I don't like smoked howda and also these were on clearance I don't know that there were a lot of options Francis says Caitlin what <laughs> Is this about the, the chip pack that you're supposed to pour back into your... I'm guessing so. Well, no, it's not that you pour it in. It has a bag in here. It's a bag in a cylinder. So you just put the entire new bag into the cylinder. When you told me it was in a cylinder, I assumed that they were in there like Pringles, where they're all no. gently tucked in. Nope. They're just in a fucking bag, but then put in a cylinder to look fancier. Gotcha. Wow. <sighs> Anyways, um, those are wine chips, and now we will stop making hell noises. I'm sorry, everyone. This stream is brought to you by <laughs> fucking wine chips. We got sponsored, everyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've been berry casting for 29 minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's, it, 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 we're never going to finish this fucking game. No. Okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's get going here. Stream the game to Caitlin. Turn off the things. Hell screen. Open I'm going to have one more candy pop. Oh my God. Why would you do They're that? They're not good. I don't know. They're bad because it's like popcorn texture but with little tiny bits of that like chewy stick to your teeth sour patch kids texture it's bad that sounds horrible okay follow anya we saw anya go to the left in the woods but it's not letting us leave the castle so i don't know what oh, yeah. the fuck we're supposed to do um we have other other unresolved shit right? do we hey joey would you say that we have unresolved would you would you say that we have unresolved shit ah uh, that's maybe a question to explore another time 
Um, get proof to show to Carl that the monster is still around. Okay. Because right, Carl thinks that we just solved the mystery because we found out that Lucas was in person. Yeah, because we monster. fucking ratted on Lucas, Lucas and then didn't even have the def- decency to tell the child to his face. In addition to the real monster. Oh! It let me go now. Oh, cool. Ash is here. Hi, Ash. Um, except I don't remember. Ooh, were those claw marks always there? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't know if I should. Are there claw marks on the map? Or. Yes, maybe. I I don't know where you've clicked yet. I went. See, this always confuses me. I went left. And now it is giving me the option to go forward or left. And I don't understand how that is the case if I am somewhere in here. Yeah, that doesn't See make sense. what I mean? Yeah, that's that's part of the reason I always get fucking confused in here. Nat tells Ash we literally just started the game. Ash says, nice, I was worried it'd be over by the time I hopped on. <laughs> and nope. Lily says, well, we did 29 minutes of berry cast. Yep. Francis says you missed a lot of eating sounds. Okay, there's the door. Okay, so we're on the opposite side of Spidersville from the camp, yes. which is presumably where Anya's heading. Okay, here's Spidersville. Has this changed in some way? What is this stuff over here? I can't tell. But like, Are those the brambles that we cut through? Me, to maybe. Get... It's not giving me anything here, so... I think, okay, I need to get back to where I was because I think I need to follow those claw marks and mm, okay, the other way. You could just reload the save. TBH. But that would be the easy way. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cheating? <laughs> uh, Nat is explaining what the crunches were. She describes one as Ryan Seacrest and two as blue cheese wine chips. <laughs> and Juliet says Ryan Seacrest is cockney rhyming slang for Sour Patch popcorn. Uh, okay. Yes, I've gotten lost. I'm reloading the same. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that seem like the easy option, Joe? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Straight claw marks. Okay, so I went straight here because there are claw marks here and there are claw marks here. So this time I'm going to go left. But I don't see more claw marks, but I can only go one direction. So. Now I can go either way and I don't see more claw marks again. So maybe we're fucked. I... Yeah, I don't know that we <laughs> know what we're doing here. Oh, is that? That looked like on that last grade, like a circle of stones on the ground, yeah, but. It did. Where? Oh. What? Oh. Okay. Back at the castle. Hold on. Okay, I, wait, I think I might know don't want to leave yet oh that's why okay this is why the map confuses me because that is not the forest path that goes forward is not this it's that path to the left this is the path that is like leaving leaving like leaving the area leaving yeah when i take this what I think of as left, like the direction you're, we're that's not now, a left. Yeah, that is this initial stretch. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but I thought the castle was here, and so then we were going forward, and then should 
being oh able to... i see okay yeah no yes but yes okay um oh emily says the i think the last thing nancy said was something about checking out all of the places where the monster was sighted on the map <laughs> which we can do we'll look in the woods because we should go look at the big tree where the yeah, monster yeah, was sighted yeah, and then yeah, we'll go yeah okay <laughs> Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, wait. Why can't I go right? I don't think I should be able to go right. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Oh, unless we're looking at the corner of this at a weird angle, and so we can I was checking our Twitter for a minute, so I don't know where you are. Well, sucks to be you. There's the tree. Oh, Is fuck yeah, we have not looked at this before. We should wait and see if the monster appears. Should I? Another coded message. <gasps> oh, there it fuck is. yeah, okay. Let's go back to the fucking- <gasps> Oh! Oh. oh, I'm sorry, buddy, that this game is calling you a monster. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently he just walks back and forth, so... Yeah, let's go, I'm uh, gonna... Enigma Machine. Leave? I don't think we ever... I don't think we made it to this tree. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> That's not the paper I want. Okay. We're gonna go, we're just gonna stay left as much as we can. Oh. Good. Oh, right. Okay. No, 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 that's just, yeah. Yeah, that's, the way back up. Yeah. I know. Okay. Great. 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 Enigma machine. Enigma machine. Uh, we'll have to go into our notes to get the um, German transmissions. I know. Okay. The things we need are mouse griffin? Is that a griffin? Or is that just a dragon? It's got claws. I think that's that's a wyvern based on it having back feet but no front feet. Okay, but it has like bird feet. I guess. I'm putting it down as a wyvern. Okay. Um, and a unicorn. Okay. All right, notes. Observations. Okay. Uh, the mouse. Okay. M. Der Drach. I'm so pretty sure that's a drag dragon because that's the okay. option we have. Yeah. And does Einhorn, which starts with an E. e. Okay. Cool. So we have M, D, and E for the Enigma machine. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to use this. I love that it displays the note here for us so that we don't have to yeah, it's flip back and forth. Really That's really nice. nice. I feel like usually, usually Nancy games are not that accommodating. No. God, remember the one where it just gave us a totally black screen and we had to click where things had oh my been? God, and I had to actually like put post-it notes on my computer screen. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Do you want to read it? Do you want me to read it to you or do you want to yes, just type? I would like you to read it to me. W. M. 
But okay, here's the thing. You cannot wait for me to click because there's a slight delay and then I know, I know. I was getting in I was getting into rhythm. Okay. Um S M K N V O Sorry, V. A Okay. V as in Yep. Viserine? O H Q F E U Y P T W J F D V as in Viserine X R I C K H Q W H B S W E I Z N Q H. Nope, sorry. Q V. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. I didn't do the thing because I looked. H- well, then what was the point? Yeah. Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it? Legend ending. Find young woman to cast as the victim. I feel like this is going to be where we come out of the menu and there's someone behind us. Yeah, it might be. Buckle your seatbelts, everyone. Don't see anything on the screens. I have a bad feeling that Renata is going to end up being the villain in this. Uh... Check. Okay, um, now what? It still says get proof. Wait, are Francis we says to... it's fucking Marcus, huh? Are we supposed to take a picture of the monster by the tree? Like with our cell phone that has a camera? Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, that's good job. That's gotta be it. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it seems worth a try. That makes sense. I forgot that we had a camera. Yeah, we have not really utilized it. Nancy drew photo mode win. Mm-hmm. I hope he's oh, still here. Yeah. See, oh, it fucking get him! I will. It went right to the camera. I didn't even have to. I'm gonna take a few. <laughs> That's it. Juliet says, I think all the adults here are in on it together and have set Nancy up is, like, not the most oh. likely, but a possibility still. Yeah. Because all their livelihoods are tied to it. It's, like, easier to sacrifice an outsider than one of your own. Oh, and you geez. all need the castle to make money for your livelihoods or for Carl to be your emotional fortress of solitude. Uh-huh. Sorry, give me just a Oh, the Twitch dashboard looks different than it used to. What's going on? Just, it's like the Twitch app updated. I didn't have the chat open on my phone, so I was opening it, and then see. it looked different. It's like, what are you doing on Twitch, please? We are busy uh, streaming. Well, yeah, streaming on Twitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. again 
I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. <laughs> is that what her phone Do you looks believe like? me now? This is not good, not good at all. Uh, hey, that it looks like an etch a sketch. <laughs> If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. Why would Anya be going out into the woods? What do you mean? I saw her go into the forest. It looked like she really didn't want anyone following her. She should not be doing that. She knows not to be doing that now. I'm sure she had a reason. It does not matter. I will have to talk with her. Mm. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> he really sounds like he is like barely keeping it together. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. That's done. Let's go see if Anya is back and we can talk to her. Yeah. Once again, there's nothing on our to-do list. Francis says, damn, did you rat out your girlfriend? Yeah, immediately. We're a fucking rat. <laughs> Nat says, Nancy's phone looks like the MP3 player I had in 2007. <laughs> Hello. Thanks. Really? See you later. See you later. Uh, That's aggravating. Okay. What? We could talk to the child. He's right here. Nancy, I think I can hear the monster outside. I'm sure it's just your imagination. Why would you say that when you've both seen the Something monster in person? Now. I just know. I'm sure everything is Nancy. fine. Nancy! No, it isn't. Promise me you'll stay close, okay? Look, this kid I is promise. the only person you can trust Thanks, right Nancy. now. <laughs> yeah, for real. Isn't it a bit late for you to be up? Shh. I've got a good thing going. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Nancy. <sighs> oh, Francis says, let's show Renata our sick photo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, best kid writing oh, in a Nancy Drew game. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nancy, something terrible has happened. What? It's Lucas. <laughs> He's missing. Oh. It was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he he's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. <laughs> I mean, when yeah, we saw Lucas see, dressed as the sacrifice monster, sacrifice that happened or... right after we saw Lucas in the foyer, and then we left, and then he was suddenly in a monster costume. Thanks. Yeah. See you later. And Bye. now it's happened again. What if Lucas is twins? Juliet says, "New theory: the monster outside is also a kid in a stilts doppelganger." Ah. Uh -huh. It's extremely good. Well, okay, I'm still gonna go check in with Renata. Yeah, I would like to talk to her. What do you want? Did you hear that Lucas is missing? Yes, you need to know things got much more serious for you now. What do you mean? The monster, he's here now. He is not after Lucas. You do know that, right? I think Jesus. so. Do not think so. Be ready. There is no shame in leaving now, Nancy. I couldn't do that. Maybe your only hope? Jeez. Bye. Goodbye. 
Oh, whoa, there's a beautiful looking sunset outside. You can just see a little bit of it. Hey, has her dress always had like dirt at the bottom of it? Is that dirt or is that a dark trim? Well, maybe it's there's dirt. dark trim, but then there's even. a little tear, and then there's this like, I mean, there's like sh sh darker, splotchy stuff. Yeah, I guess I was reading that as shadow, but Emily says, "Do we have a scarf in our inventory?" I don't think so. No. Can we purchase Are a we scarf in the gift shop? This game wrong. Maybe we should have found it in the woods. I feel like we've really bumbled this one just all the way through. Junior detectives, you know? It's fine. Yeah. Find Lucas! Okay, I mean, I guess we should go into the woods again. Emily says no, no worries. Colin, can we look in the gift shop for a scarf? I'm just curious. Lucas was dragged off. Oh, wait. Before something oh, happens. oh, let's follow those footsteps. Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I can. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's not a scarf in the gift shop also. Francis says oh, Emily was just cold. Uh, anyone got a scarf? Nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick.